What is going on guys? How the heck are you doing? Sorry, I'm having technical difficulties with this freaking camera today. It is driving me absolutely crazy, but I can't exactly spike it into the ground like I want to because it is really expensive. I want to destroy it. I really do. I want to throw it into the wall really bad, but I can't. I'm not going to. Anyways, let's uh, look at how beautiful these cages are doing today. Ooh, wow, look at these guys today. Hello, Mr. Dode. I just sprayed everybody down. Everything is growing, looking beautiful. These little insularis are growing like weeds. Check them out. Sorry for being MIA for a few days. We've been, we've been up to some things. Alex got his new Garmin, by the way, guys. Uh, we made a video, we were diving. We've dived, we've probably done four dives with it already, right? Mm -hmm. I'm sure everybody this fancy Ooh. thing. Ooh, look at that. Thanks, guys. So clean. So shout out to the people that helped contribute to Alex's birthday watch. He's super stoked about it, right? It's it's pretty crazy. It's pretty surreal. You know, it's a uh, it's fifteen hundred dollars, and that's something I definitely wouldn't have been able to have without you guys and without Tyler. Yeah, but a few it's... guys reached out. You found out it was Alex's birthday. You found out what I was getting him, and you contributed. It's crazy. Yeah. Who? Ken, Blake, John, Roberto, the crazy horse guy. I don't know your name. Yo, thank you guys. It's crazy. Killed it. We've already we've dove with it a few times. The other day. We went out to with Dixie Diver. It was opening for hog season. We filmed a bunch of stuff, but it kind of, we dropped the ball on a bunch of things. So uh, yeah, I don't know. We tried making a video, just didn't work out very well, but we shot a good size hog fish. Um, we shot a mackerel. That was pretty awesome. A bunch of other people in the boat. We caught, dude. Everyone else killed it. Yeah. Everybody else killed it, dude. We shot so much fish that day. It was pre pretty badass. Yes, and then Sunday we tried filming again. Went out to Lake Boca. We did a little. We did a little discovery dive. Little shallow exploration. Yeah, my friends. Cool. My friends are in town from Philly. Took them snorkeling while Alex and I were diving on tanks. It was super shallow, so we stayed down for. Dude, our air lasted forever. That's great. It was a badass weekend, but we tried filming. Sorry, it didn't work out. But next time, hopefully, it works out a little bit better. Yep. Oh, but we're back in this snake room doing some things. Rusty, Rusty just pooped the other day. That last meal that we gave him was, uh, what was it, that blue chondro yeah, python? Big blue chondro. Big four foot blue chondro python Rusty just ate. And dude, I feel like every time he eats a big meal like that, he just gets larger and larger. It's, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty eats. insane, yeah. So let's go ahead and take this guy out real fast, show you guys how big that he's getting. And then we're gonna feed him. Rusty today is gonna eat four Burmese pythons. Count them. Oh, four. No, four three and a half. Four Burmese. Four. four Burmese pythons, okay? Not three and a half. No, three and a half. Yeah, whatever, four. So, with that being said, the reason why we're feeding him four is just because we're running out of larger food items to give him, you know? Right now, a four foot python is perfect for him. Slams it down, it's a lot of food. He only needs to eat one of those like once a month. It's great. But today we have a bunch of smaller things in the fridge. So we're gonna be feeding him four of the smaller size Burmese pythons, which will account to just a bigger snake. So absolutely perfect. And hopefully he should just eat them one in a row. You know what I mean? So let's uh, get set up here and get Rusty some food. Actually, we're gonna take him out first. All right, so Rusty time. It is crazy how big this guy is getting. I was just looking at videos the other day, just going through some old footage, trying to make something. Saw how little he was just a year ago when I got him. It hasn't even been a year since I've had him actually. And it's pretty crazy how big this snake has gotten. Look at this. Already pushing over seven feet long. What a badass cobra dude, right? Temperament is pretty good. He's just very obviously, he's very aware of his surroundings. He wants to check everything out all the time. He likes to ride the hook, of course. You can see in a bunch of videos, he likes coming up this hook just like this, coming straight at me. Just gotta give him his distance, be nice and calm with him. It's all about fluid motion with these guys. I don't wanna be too sporadic when I'm handling them. You know, even when he comes at me just like that, you know, just keep my cool. He smells those, he smells those Burmese pythons right now. So I just wanna, I wanna watch out right now cause he's on edge, he's looking for food. He definitely smells food right now and he's getting a little crazy. So I am going to put him back in his cage right now and then we're gonna feed him these Burmese pythons. 
and hopefully he just slams them down. So let's get you right in there, just like this. Look how big he is, look how thick he is. It's freaking crazy, right? All right, dude. You stay right there, Russ. Okay, time to feed. So we got four Burmese pythons here. They're honestly not that big. Altogether, these snakes are maybe as big as his last meal was, but probably not even, man. Look how small these little Burmese pythons are. So we're just gonna go in here. He should be able to grab these guys super fast. Ah, oh, here we go. See how he just comes right out the cage? Super hungry. So watch, he's gonna slam these freaking things down. They're such small food items. So here we go, snake number one. Now he's gonna slam this thing down. It's such a small meal for him compared to what he's been eating. So this is gonna be, he's gonna eat these things so quick. so fast. Snake number one is down. Let's let him swallow up this little tail and then snake number two. All right, snake number two. Let's dangle it in front of his face. Get him all excited about it. There you go. Oh, he smells it. Boom. Just like that. All right, now we're working on snake number two. Oh, you're eating so well today, bro. Dude, it's crazy how light his coloring is getting. It's beautiful, especially compared to when I first got him. He was small and very dark. Uh, he's supposed to be a Malaysian, and a bunch of my friends, when I first got him, because he was so dark, they all thought that he was an Indonesian for sure. But now, the older he's getting, bro, the more yellow and orange he is, dude, he is going to be such a stunner-looking snake. His colors are going to continue to get lighter as he becomes an adult. Still has a couple years, even, you know? Imagine, dude, this is literally him after being a year old. This, this snake is literally maybe close to two years old now, and he is gigantic. Already pushing over seven and a half feet. Slamming down these Burmese pythons. Look at that thing. Already halfway done with his second Burmese. All right, that's Burmese Python number three for him. So we're gonna go ahead and leave him alone, let him do his thing real quick. Move over to the Mang Shans over here. Now they're loving their new cages. All right, so these Mangs are loving their new cages. Perched up top all the time. Plants are growing great. Still on the crazy side when it comes to feeding. There you go. Bites it and holds on. Great. See, that is exactly what we want. All right, here's Mang Shan number two. See him just chilling on his little perch. Let's see if I can go over here, introduce this to him. Would you like some food? Yes? Yes, would you like some? Now this one's a little on the crazy side. Sometimes this doesn't bite and hold on. This one likes to, this one likes, to, oh man. All right, so this Ming is a little on the crazy side, you see? He's, look, he's flipping out. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna put this right up on his little perch like that and let him find it later and eat it on its own just because I don't wanna make him angry. All right, Rusty is slurping down that third one. Holy crap, bro. Number four. Literally Burmese number four, dude. You are a savage, bro. Finish up that little tail. Look, dude, he's still hungry. Insane. 
Come on, bro. Look, smell his head. There you go. So gentle when he bites it. Oh, thanks, bro. You like it? Oh, thanks, Dad. I appreciate it. Crazy, man. What a good meal for him, though. Like, dude, four Burmese pythons. He could easily probably eat five or six, honestly. I just don't want to overfeed my animals. But there we go. About to slam down the fourth. Almost done with number four. Russ, how you doing, bro? Dude, you slam those things down. Amazing. Look at him. Look how beautiful his coloring is getting. Isn't that crazy? That, like, light color that he is. Oh, it's beautiful. Russ, that's why I call you Russ, because you're so orange, man. Last little part. That's my favorite. He slurps it up like spaghetti. There you go, Russ. Finish up, my dude. Oh, yeah. All right, guys. That is it. You just fed the Insularis. Mm -hmm. They just eat a bunch of pinkies. These guys ate some fuzzies, or now you get hoppers for these bigger guys. Mm -hmm. Everybody ate today. Beautiful. Well, that is it, guys. I hope you enjoyed watching Rusty slam down those Burmese pythons. Still figuring out this freaking camera. Autofocus is driving me insane. It's, it's being weird. Yeah, it drives me crazy. So. so that is it. Until next time, guys. Hope you enjoyed it. I did. It was fun. Everybody stays safe. Uh, I feel like we need to do like some slow motion spitting cobra videos soon. That'd be pretty badass. Definitely. Black spitters are getting huge. Everything. That freaking, we, we need to sex out that Rankall's cobra. That guy, uh, we ha I had a pair. The female died a while ago. Got them from Dingo. So he's going to send me another one depending on what the sex is of mine. So we got to do, I'm pretty, I think we should do a video about how to sex animals. Or how to sex snakes at least because mm -hmm. a lot of people hit me up and ask me how to do it which i don't really recommend you do on your own but it might be helpful to have a video out there for you guys to reference from right yeah it can't hurt yeah, that's it so on to other things today pepe thank you again per usual your watch is awesome like i said sorry we tried making a video this weekend about it we've used it several times it is awesome right Dude, we just had some bad luck underwater Bad luck underwater, but yeah, dude, your BC, all sorts oh of things. God, this, all sorts of things this weekend has happened, but whatever. Next time, it'll go a lot smoother. Yeah, yeah, crushing it. Till next time, guys. Stay safe, stay happy, stay all that good stuff. We'll see you later. Peace out. Enjoy your week. Goodbye.